Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the determinant and indeterminate frame. So how we can define the determinancy of the frame structure? So here, this is a video where we can define and explain the determinancy of the frame and also solve some examples to see either it is a determinant frame structure, indeterminate frame structure or the unstable frame structure. So we can define the determinancy by this three different criteria. If the redundancy RD is redundancy of the frame structure, if it is equal to zero, so it means it is a determinant and the stable beam, stable frame structure, sorry. And if the redundancy is greater than zero, it means it is an indeterminant frame. And if it is less than zero, it means that we have unstable frame structure. Now, how to define this redundancy? There is a formula to find out the redundancy of the frame structure. So that is equal to 3m plus r minus 3n minus s. Now, m, what is this m, r, and n, and s? So m is equal to the number of, m is number of members. r is equal to number of support reactions. A number of reactions, simple in a frame and n is here the number of nodes in a frame and s is the number of hinges number of internal hinges in a frame structure so these are the different things involved in this simple formula now we will find out these different parameters for the redundancy of the frame and then we can determine its value so starting with the simple one so the first one here is consider we consider this example here this is a frame structure again so here we have roller support provided so it can take only vertical reaction and there is a hinge support provided so it can take vertical and both horizontal reaction and if we see here there are three members one member two member and third different member so two columns and one beam three members are there and three are the support reaction you can see here one two three are the support reactions and what are the number of nodes so the nodes are one node this is the second node third so one two here is the third node here is the fourth node the node is a joint where the members are connected so there are four nodes in this frame and here is also one internal hinge provided you can see here with the black color so it means the one internal hinge is here. So now we will find out the redundancy of this frame structure which is equal to 3. M is the number of members. So 1, 2, 3 are the members plus R is the support reactions which is 1, 2, 3 is the support reactions minus 3 nodes. N is the number of nodes. So the nodes here are 1, 2, 3, 4 minus s and s here is the internal hinge so number of internal hinge is only one so minus one so redundancy of this frame structure will be equal to the nine plus three minus twelve minus one so we will find out this twelve minus twelve minus one it comes out to be minus one so redundancy of this frame structure is less than zero we can see here when it is less than zero then it means it is an unstable frame structure and we have to increase the support for this frame structure so here we might increase here this changing this support from roller to hinge support we might see that their redundancy is increased and here we might have the case of determinant but it's another story how to increase the uh, redundancy of the frame structure so this is the unstable frame structure now if you consider the second example here, we see here there are different members, one member, two member, three members are used in this frame structure and here support reaction is a fixed support, so one reaction, two reaction, three reaction, it is a hinge support, so one reaction and two reaction. Also number of nodes, one node, two nodes, three nodes and four are the number of nodes and there is no internal hinge used in this frame structure. So redundancy of this frame structure will be equal to 3m is the number of members. So there are three members used. 
the number of support reaction are here are one two three four five is the number of support reaction minus three into n the number of nodes is the one two three four are the number of nodes minus s is equal to zero because there is no internal hinge so redundancy will be equal to nine plus five minus twelve so it comes out to be 14 minus 12 we see here 2 so which is greater than the 0 so in this case a redundancy of the frame structure is greater than 0 we see here so now in this case this is indeterminant frame structure indeterminant frame so it's very simple and easy that just use this formula and put out the different values so you can find the determinancy of the frame structure now we have another here the last example to see the determinancy of the frame structure here is a fixed support so it can take the vertical horizontal and movement so there are three support reactions so r is equal to three number of members are one and two two are the number of members m is equal to two and the number of nodes are one two three are the number of nodes So here the number of nodes are not 3. Why? Because the number of nodes are not equal to 3 because the nodes are the points where the member joins. So here there are two nodes. One is here and one is here. So we have number of nodes equal to 2 and the internal hinge there is no internal hinge. So S is equal to 0. So putting the values in this redundancy formula so 3 into number of member equal to 2 plus R support reaction equal to 3 minus 3 multiply with the number of nodes 2 minus s equal to 0 so redundancy comes out to be 3 into 2 6 plus 3 minus 3 into 2 is equal to again 6 minus 0 so now here we can find out the redundancy of the frame structure so it comes out to be 3 which is again greater than 0 so it means it is indeterminate frame structure so it is again indeterminate frame structure. So now you guys understand how to find out the determinancy and indeterminacy of the frame structure by using this simple formula. Hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.